Alright guys, I'm going to do a little uh, comparison of the micro stubs compared to the Volkswagen Type 1s, which is the stock bearing assembly on a, uh, a stock Volkswagen, at least on the Volkswagen independent rear suspension. So what you're looking at right now is, this is a 33 inch tire on a stock Type 1 bearing housing. It's got a custom swing arm on it, but the bearing housing itself is the same. So all the offsets would be the same. Now, if you look, I'm going to put a straight edge right here across the outside of the tire. And on the, on the outside edge of the axle, it's almost flush. There's about a sixteenth gap between there and the axle, but it's basically flush. All right? That's on the Type 1. Now, what you're looking at here is the same tire mounted on a mount, mounted on the same wheel that this tire was mounted on where we just took the measurement of the type 1 but this one has a micro stub micro stub uh, bearing housing and a disc brake setup mounted on it so now if I put the straight edge on the outside edge of the tire like I did before I can't read that but that's 1.75 inches which means that comparing nothing else if you just compare if you just compare the micro stub against the Volkswagen Type 1 right off the bat your axle is going to be 1.75 inches longer which the benefits of that is for the same setup same angles on the drive shafts the longer the drive shaft is the more travel you're going to get but I'm going to show you a couple other differences that really leans me towards the micro stubs the second dif difference the first being that it gives you a farther inward offset is that the micro stub <coughs> micro stub axle is removable which means that this is a full floating bearing assembly now the fact that you can take this out means that if you're on the trail or out in the desert or wherever you're driving going to the grocery store if you break this axle your wheel and tire is not going to let loose from the vehicle it's still, you know, you can break this and you're going to lose the ability to drive the wheel, but the wheel is going to stay connected to the suspension. On the Type 1, since the Type 1 has the bearings riding on the shaft further inward, and then this part carries the weight of the vehicle, if this part breaks on a Type 1, your wheel and your tire fall off. That's all there is to it. So this is full floating, which to me, I really like that. I really, really like that. Now the third thing that I like, at least it's not a huge deal that on the Type 1 you have to weld in the, the bearing assembly on the micro stub. This has a, a bolt flange on it, so you'll create, you'll build your uh, your swing arm, whether it be tubular or made out of sheet metal, so that it the uh, bearing housing bolts into there. The reason that I like that is if you need to replace this bearing housing, you can do that just by unbolting it. But more so for me, since I like to fabricate and try different things, I can build a swing arm that this bolts to. And if at some point I decide I want to just maybe change my wheel width or my wheel ba wheelbase length, I can just fabricate another swing arm and bolt this assembly right into the other one. Um, so for me, that is really a major advantage. <laughs> so that's my, uh, that's my one for one comparison of micro stubs first the type ones. Hope you guys like it. Hopes it helps you and hope to see you on another video. Break down the awkwardness. Put on my boots and a lily white dress. A million words but how to express what I'm feeling when I see you. You flash a smile, I'm like, is this happening? I look your way and then of course drop everything You walk over and ask if 